to just be to want you all the time and to just yeah. be look do something man I, I you know talk about her compliment her don't you know talk about how beautiful she is talk about your know, girl dang what look, dang what happened oh is that all you right yeah girl, girl, listen here. you know be, be oh. <laughs> listen like i want to feel like i'm the most beautiful girl yeah. in the world and she, yeah. look, she knows because yes. she knows she'd have had a couple kids she know that Right. Here, let me tell you a little, let me tell you a story. I had a gentleman okay. who came to me once and he was really in conflict because he said, Look, man, I'm having trouble because I'm not attracted to my wife before. I said, What do you he said, I'm not attracted. He has an attractive wife. And I said, Well, tell me why. He says, Well, look, she's you know, she's got her skin a stretch now. Mm -hmm. She has blue skin around her stomach. She's you know, things are not as tight as when I married her. You know, and he was going through all this telling me about it. I'm, I'm just listening. And I sat him down afterwards. I said, I need you to do me a favor. Next chance you get, I want you to strip. And I want you to stand in front of the mirror. I want you to take a long, hard look at yourself. Uh, help. Hello, and goodbye. I want you to really Hello, and goodbye. This is what she looks at every day. Yes. All right. So, yeah. and understand, secondly, that yeah. those stretch marks, that yeah. new skin, all that stuff, that's for you. For you she gave you a son she gave yeah. you a daughter right okay. so any yeah. wound that yeah. she it's not a wound it's not a it's not a mark it's a it, it's it's an award it's an award it is it is yes and that, so yeah, we had to we had to work on that thing so i i told him you i need you so i told him so i need you to start kissing her stretch marks absolutely i love the i love the concrete behaviors and yeah. Let's talk about it. Okay, let's say you have two people who are willing. Let's take it a step further. Let's say we have two people who maybe over the course of time have gone out of shape. Uh, she has a mom bod, he has dad bod. Okay, you two can come together. Let's look at the budget. Can we both go to the gym together? Can we work out together? Can we exercise together? But if you're not willing to put any skin in the game, come on, then you really got no, no right to complain. Yeah, uh, we're gonna work out together or we all just gonna relax. Okay, right. you say you don't wanna work out. All right, so you're gonna add, make some more money, so then I'll lose the weight. What are we gonna exchange here? What are we gonna... You, know, so, <laughs> you said lose the weight, but you don't wanna work out. That's okay, right, I'll take that's right. You don't to lose the weight, you ain't making no money. You're right, absolutely. <laughs> right, so if we can all just be honest with the fact that we are exchanging and bartering, but not being honest, there's, there's a lot, that's what I, one thing I did like about Kevin Samuels, and there I have girlfriends who are appalled, but I like economics and I like statistics. Those are my favorite two math courses. If, and I really think they should really start economics way earlier in the school system. Because if you get the issue of supply and demand and limited resources, even a lot of relationship concepts make better sense. Right. Because we are not endless reservoirs, endless reserves of kindness, selflessness, compassion, generosity, all those positive things that we enjoy. It just doesn't go on forever. Right. right. You are dealing with another person. They have limitations. They have absolute limitations. And you both have to come together to really accept that, hey, I am getting, trying to fill my, my deficits from a person who is limited. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think that that's very wise. It, that, it takes a lot of emotional maturity to 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 come to that conclusion and to, to, to look at people from that perspective. You know, you, you sometimes I think we're so brainwashed by, you know, I don't know, uh, you know, what 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 hip hop music tells us, you right. know, we, we, we are we're just so brainwashed, you know, you know, men, you know, they, you know, women tell talk, you know, I don't even mention no names, but you know, we're just brainwashed. We yeah. want we want gratification. We believe that you know. Look, this is what I deserve. One thing that annoys me, and I'm just going to say this might be a little bit off. I'm going to say it. No, go ahead. One thing that annoys the absolute crap out of me. Right. Is people talk about what they deserve. Oh. Uh, my, I'll give an example. My son. I have two single sons. Right. Okay. They, one's uh, 29, and one's in his 30s. One well, 30, and one is 30s, not single, but one. My okay. Young, single and he <laughs> said that he went out with somebody one time mm. uh, a young lady good looking guy and i'm and i mean that he's a good looking guy okay he went out with a young lady one time and she said look 
I don't date nobody if they don't make six figures, right? Right. And he said, right. Yeah. Oh, really? He said, Yeah. I'm sorry if I'm a date now. He didn't tell her what she what he made. He did. Now he was in a job where he was making that. Okay. Yeah. And he yeah. now gone to another job that's where he had. I mean, his potential is unlimited, right? Awesome. But he's so discouraged because he said, mm -hmm. Dang, all these women want." It's just somebody who can make money, somebody who can buy them this, and somebody who's gonna buy them that. He says, I, I, I can't find somebody who's, who, who, who wants just value, you know? But yeah, wow. and it, it was so frustrating to him. And, and I told him, son, look, don't worry, you know, it, it's gonna come to you. But mm -hmm. I, I think that, that there are a lot of men out there who feel that. I think we've been brainwashed just by, by social media, by other types of media that, you know, instant gratification is, is, is. is right. I, yeah. Nobody wants to, to, to toil the land. You, you right. know, everybody wants to walk into harvest. Absolutely. Everyone, everyone wants to harvest from the, from the door, but there's no such thing. You just want to walk into harvest and it's not, it's not how it works. Naturally, spiritually, you just don't reap abundance because just because no one's entitled to abundance no just because a lot of that is you know i have put a post up the best thing in life require investment i don't know who said it was free but they were that's the, one of the biggest lies that have ever been told Oof. It, it does the best thing in life requires investment you're absolutely right when i when, when i met my wife uh uh i was i was broke okay I, no, literally. No, I'm serious. Was it credit like in the five? No, 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 no. Girl, no, for real though. No, for real, look. <laughs> no, I, I, I had been doing well. Right. I was doing well at one point in my life, and I was, uh -huh. I was a regional vice president of an of a international investment company.